Hi guys, welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Last time, we had essentially an existential crisis. All of his were this time, let's, be? number one, walk past all this. We've Perhaps seen what's this happened. Time. That was terrifying. <laughs> like, I still have not many words to say on that. Okay. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Feeling rebellious today. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. I don't and care. Knew it perfectly you were well. not a voice in my. Oh God. By the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wait, where's where's the employee lounge? Oh, employee lounge. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. And open those. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Uh, drinking because there's coffee and drinks. Bad. I'm out. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Through you. Aha. This is construction area Stanley bay. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Well, that's probably bad. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong Ooh. foot here. Okay. I'm not sure oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good nope. job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Cuts himself off sometimes. Weird. But, um... Okay, that's an ending. Sure. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay. What could it mean? Let's Stanley not murder ourselves this time. Would memo. would be nice. All right. Let's continue walking. When Through you. Not listening to you. Not the way to the room. I know it's not. It because well. I. Freeman. Not to, to be confused it. with Freeman. Wow. Because yes, I do not carry. Shut up. But I'm trying to talk to myself. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Well, I guess I'll have to. No, pa! Because I am in control. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Right? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Ooh. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Well, you know what? Her? This is it, Stanley. Doesn't matter. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh, that's darkness. Oh! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh. Alrighty. He sounds hot. Okay, there we go. Can't move. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about Get your day. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Gotcha. Oh come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Oh, wow. What? Their life to you. What? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. <sighs> I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Oh. Uh. He sounded so hot. Oh my god, what is that? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Hey, what? Uh, okay. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Oh. Okay. Look at him there. Pushing buttons, oh. doing exactly what he's told to do. I'm Stanley. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. 
One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen. Health is open again. No. No. I'm a free man. I'm not going to press it. You, you can't force me to press that button. I'm not going to press it. Even with that, please. Nope. 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 No, nope, Mr. Narrator Man, I know you'll, you'll chime in and say, well, it's okay if he doesn't want to do that. Right? 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 Oh, no. I am... Okay, well... He... But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. Him, Stanley. And each day oh, my God. To work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Okay, sure, let's watch some TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. What? Oh, it's not so actually... Oh, he imagined what that he the hell? Open doors and that he could go through either. At last choice it barely even mattered what lay behind each door the mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold i don't like this press anything else no nope. as he wandered through this fantasy world oh god it's it's all oh i see what's happening down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Wait, what? And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And what? And called it the Stanley Parable. Huh? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. Wait. And again. Is this a metaphor for the game? Beyond hope that it would never end. The game a metaphor for life? Feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Yes. Perhaps if he played just one more time. Oh God! Exactly. I want to tell my life, wife, I love her. No answer. <gasps> She's gone. Possibly be. In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons oh. he always has. Oh. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Let's go to sleep. Yes. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as oh. long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Oh. He won't listen to me. He won't stop. I'm trying now. Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm listening to you now, man. I'm listening to you now. You have the power. Oh, he's going to... Gonna, it's not he's not gonna say anything is he? he's gonna be like no it's just i have no option to i have to like literally i'm i'm in a situation where i have to you're not gonna not let me i'm actually distressed by this you see oh can he just not hear me i tried can man in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here he's <sighs> electing to kill himself i'm not trying to I kill myself to what i see how can i make him look at himself Oh, that. Okay, that's. I suppose yep. I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The Who are standard. you? We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time you'll. And I tried again. What? And Stanley pushed oh. the button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tr Oh! What? Okay! Well... Okay, um... <laughs> oh. I'm trying to speak and words aren't coming out of my mouth. Is this what every ending's gonna be like? Where I just stare gapingly at the computer screen while this guy 
does stuff. Like, are are we Stanley? Is Stanley the game? Is St oh, this isn't as funny as I thought it was gonna be. This is existential as shit. See you guys in the next part. Okay. Bye.